think a magical thing would be like when something happens. Something gets like a, like a hole in time. On 11 11 11, the Exchange Radical Moments Live Art Festival staged art projects in the midst of human beings going about their everyday lives. Two fundamental questions emerged in conjunction with this endeavor. When totally disparate projects are produced simultaneously on a single day in Stockholm, Riga, Liverpool, Paris, Chisinau, and six other European cities, does this even constitute a festival? And if what's happening in these 11 cities is discussed in TV channels and live streamed via cell phone, webcam and video device to a central festival website where people can collectively follow and discuss it, can this bring about closeness and bring forth a new type of festival public? So, let's look into this. Norashele, Europe, Liverpool, Londra, Paris, Berlin, Riga, Linz, Stockholm, Praga, Schlafburt, uh, Schlafburt, invers, Bitola, va avea loc festivalul RTV, Exchange Radical Moments. Peste 60 de artiști contemporani europeni vor încerca să oprească timpul. Colega noastră, Mariana Chirică, se află lângă unul dintre punctele care face parte din traseul pe care urmează să-l facă artiștii. Și ne spune mai multe detalii. Bună dimineața, bună dimineața, dragilor, mă aflu chiar în fața autogării centrale. Live art is a collective term subsuming art forms at the nexus of performance, intervention, media art, happening and theatre. In terms of art history, live art can be seen as an offshoot of fluxus, which in turn can be explained as the outcome of a fluid transition between art and life, or even the unity of art and life. So my work will be uh, a major performance uh, in which I explore the ritual of feet cleaning. Um, it's a spiritual ritual. Uh, it's a ritual I've explored in other works. I actually just did um, a similar work, a sister work, uh, in New York City. Um, and what I what I try to do with this particular work is explore sort of the the, the nature of power mm -hmm. in ritual. Mm -hmm. So who is mm -hmm. powerful, the person giving mm -hmm. or the person receiving, mm -hmm. and how does that change mm -hmm. uh, over, over the course of the ritual? Um, and I, I'm interested in taking uh, religious ideas, mythological ideas, and sort of turning them inside out um, and representing them and finding whether they're relevant and how they're powerful right now. Why are you doing that? So for me, uh, I know a performance is successful when the frames that my audience brings to the performance break. Um, and what I want to do, and I've seen it happen, when I did the piece in New York, hundreds of members of the public cleaned the feet of strangers. And it was incredibly moving. And almost with each person who did it, you could see that they brought that energy that first energy, the mm -hmm. frame that they carry with them all the time. And at a certain point, it always goes away. Mm -hmm. And they have that connection, that maybe that radical connection. different is that you get to see the environment only through very short images. It's like a camera, but it's more like um, it's your whole body that is really taking part into the image.
What is a radical moment, actually? Wouldn't it be fair to say that it's that extraordinary moment at which one encounters a human being, confronts him or her, one-to-one, -one, beyond cliched social roles and stereotype descriptions? All that occurs within the scope of exchange radical moments happens live. Much is physical, real, manifests itself in actions, takes place without airbags and safety nets amidst life itself, while still being observable online via live stream. Entschuldigung, können Sie mich, uh, können Sie mich ganz kurz filmen, wie ich hier das Holz hier ablagere? Warum? Ähm, um, uh, es dauert nicht lang. Ich mache Handy oder was? Ich mache einen Film über das Vermächtnis meines Vaters. Gut, ist die Kamera mal an? Nein. Also ich lege das jetzt hier ab, ja? Ja? Gut. Mein Name ist äh, Thomas Grafunder, ich bin äh, der edle Wilde und ich mache hier nachher Gespräche mit äh, Anwohnern über den Einklang mit der Umgebung, über das Harmonieren mit der Natur und über das Vermächtnis meines Vaters, der berühmte der Architekt der DDR. Grafunder. Ja. Vielen Dank. Ich schon gehört. Ich will auf Stopp drücken. The old people said that uh, in the beginning there was some kind of community spirit in these houses and, uh, and, and solidarity among, because they moved from all parts of East Germany to these new, very new houses and built a new community there. Also the police said it's more, everybody's more egoistic and just shutting his door and, and... But we met a lot of children also who were very optimistic and nice and funny and... Um, und ich, ich, ich wollte Sie fragen, können Sie mir irgendwas beibringen, wie man sich hier verhält, wie ich man hier ich lebt? Ich höre fest. Gibt es irgendwas, was man beachten muss, wenn man hier lebt? Ich höre fest. Sind die Leute freundlich? Oder wie, wie, was muss man tun, damit man mit den Leuten gut auskommt hier? Sich normal verhalten. Normal. Und ähm, ist das so wie Sie? Ich würde mich nicht direkt als normal bezeichnen. Aber kommen Sie trotzdem gut aus mit den Leuten hier? Es geht. The extraordinary thing about exchange radical moments is that it's not produced for one single location or for a particular city. Rather, the projects go on simultaneously in 11 European cities. All 30 art projects were conceived or adapted expressly for the festival. Beatrice Didier from Brussels, Belgium. She came to Linz and invited people to hug her because she had a very sad experience, a very sad love story. What's your name? Beatrice Didier. What was your performance today? Into your arms. Once more. Would you please take me into your arms? Würden Sie mich in die Arme nehmen? Okay. Danke schön. Bitte schön. You understand? Uh, ja, ja, ja. Umarmen. Ja. ja. Why? Because I, I need this. Komm mir. Uh, ja. Komm mir. Ja, bitte. <lacht> bitte. Energie brauchen Sie? Thank you. 
use the form of ritual that you have when you go to a cafe. When you go to a cafe, you have a um, coffee, tea, cake, and a bit of a chat. In Strange Passions Cafe, you go there, you meet a stranger. The mask heightens the sense of strangeness because you only see the half mask. Um, people tend to feel quite comfortable. Liberated yes, liberated is the mm. word, yeah. And comfortable with the half, the anonymity, partial anonymity. We serve them with questions, questions for dialogue. It's a question about what's strange and what's not. Um, it's it's a comment on the the appropriation of the cafe ritual. You know, the, the cafe is a form of ritual. We, we just replace it with another one. People woke to burnt out cars and smouldering buildings. For many here, it's as if their neighbourhood has turned into a war zone. But the looters had freedom to break into any Whatever they want, really. Yes! Clapham Junction and our project is named Operate and we are here in Clapham because this was one of the areas that were uh, affected by the riots of August this year and we have been working with the local community uh, doing some workshops which resulted in this newspaper. The Exchange Radical Moments Live Art Festival is a communications experiment designed to test new ways for people to segue from passive audience members to active participants, give and take among equals, exchange and encounter, and doing so in many instances with passers-by who have simply stumbled upon what's transpiring. Uns geht es aber hauptsächlich darum, was es bedeutet, wenn man was passiert, wenn man in einem Moment ist, in dem die Zeit stehen zu bleiben scheint. Also in dem man wirklich das Gefühl hat, dass um einen herum so eine Blase gebildet wird und man erlebt etwas, das auch ganz tief in einen selbst hineindringt. Und kann man es schaffen, solche Momente zu gestalten? Das ist eigentlich der Hintergedanke von diesem Festival. Mhm. Und Live Art ist deswegen gewählt, also dass es äh, Live Art ist, weil das äh, Projekte oder Performances beinhaltet, Alltagsprojekte und äh, Interventionen, die es erlauben, teilzunehmen als, als Besucher. Ausgehend für uns, für das Projekt Fremdgehen, war das Fremdsein in Linz. Ja, Interessierte haben am 11. Als 11. sich die Gelegenheit hier am Hauptplatz mit uns in den gelben Bummel zurückzusteigen und sich mit uns auf Abwägen durch das Zentrum von Linz zu bewegen. Ich nummeriere mich. Wir begrüßen Sie ganz herzlich an diesem sonnigen Freitagnachmittag. Wir steigen jetzt in den gelben Zug und entführen ihn. Der Herr Geiger weiß doch Bescheid, dass er entführt wird, aber was Sie nicht wissen ist, wo Sie aussteigen werden. Ja, hallo, ich bin der Hüseyin, bin 18 Jahre alt, bin da in Linz geboren. Ähm, der schönste Augenblick in meinem Leben war, ich, wie ich meine Familie kennengelernt habe. <lacht> 
Und der Schlimmste, ich komme aber nicht in jedes Lokal rein. Bin ich um, krank geworden, psychisch krank geworden. Das war das schlimmste Moment in meinem Leben. Ich bin sehr nah, komme aus Türkei. Spannend für uns selber was ähm, zu sehen, dass oft ein, zwei Schritte durch eine Tür genügen, und in einer, um in einer Parallelwelt zu landen. Mhm. Mitten im Zentrum, man läuft da jahrzehntelang vorbei, hat es nicht wahrgenommen, nicht gesehen. Und äh, man ist eben, wie gesagt, in einer anderen Welt mit anderen Regeln. Für mich persönlich war auch sehr interessant äh, zu erkennen, dass Orte Träger von Informationen sind, Geschichtenpuls die ähm, so einfach die Geschichte einer Stadt anders erzählen. And Benjamin is from Raumlabor, who are doing a project which is called Exchange Radical Recipes. Can you tell us a little bit about your project? It's very simple. Wolfgang asked me to participate in the festival, Exchange Radical Moments, and I was doing the dishes while uh, he asked me. I was on the phone and then I looked over to the oven and I said, we will cook from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. with 11 cooks, 11 dishes, um, and that's it. I will talk a little bit with my mother about my uncle, the smoke man. Okay? And we watched you fishing the fish. Actually, I'm, I mean, the most radical moment, I think, is no food. It's a lot more radical than having food. But, of course, in the process of cooking, there's a lot of possibilities that might, um, uh, might be absurd to our culture or that we're not used to, or that our tongues find strange uh, and that, in a certain sense, are radical. And, of course, you can be uh, with cooking... Uh, rather than food, you can be as radical as with uh, walking around uh, or any other thing that you do in your everyday life. The uh, Hitler-Stalin-Pakt, for example, is a very special dish because everybody knows that Hitler was vegan, so he didn't eat any, any kind of meat. And Stalin would not eat anything without meat. And then they met in, uh, in Kaliningrad to make the Hitler-Stalin-Pakt just before the outbreak of the Second World War. And the cook had a problem to solve that was of uh, worldwide importance. I've done a lot of work that involves stripping. And that's uh, because I'm interested in, or it started to be because I was interested in uh, exposing people to the non-normatively gendered male body. So, you know, you see me clothed and it's, they're quite obvious to, to all concerned that I'm just a guy. And then, you take, then I take off all my clothes in the course of a piece and lo and behold, I'm not just a guy. I'm a different kind of guy. So I've been working with that uh, for eight years now. Dance me We don't spend all our time thinking about what we look like. We don't spend all our time projecting ourselves on people. It was one that kind of made people think, oh, this city of ours that we know so well contains even more than we thought. 
uh, because actually things are really changing. Um, when I was very young, when I was a boy, and I first discovered I wanted to be a girl, there were, well, I mean, literally, there were no words for who I was. Words like transgender, transsexual did not exist. So who I was was unspeakable, very literally unspeakable. Mm -hmm. okay. And, you know, later, later in the year, I'm speaking in the Scottish Parliament, and it is amazing. It is extraordinary, the shift there has been. I would never have dreamt that I would be able to live and work and write and perform openly as a transgender woman the way I am now. I think it's, um, you know, I think it's very wonderful, actually. The multimedia website 11moments.org is the hub, the place to go online to observe and experience what's going on in conjunction with the festival, plus archived live streams, videos, photos and project descriptions deliver a retrospective look at this multifaceted festival in all its complexity. Really great success if you imagine it's just one day and uh, if you do something with performance art, usually you are um, used to have a rather few or small audience. Two hundred live streams from project venues dispersed around Europe were uploaded on 11.11.11 and viewed over 15,000 times within 24 hours. As a comprehensive video archive, this material demonstrates discrepancies between live occurrence and online observation, between on-site performance and the interested view from a distance. Ich würde so sagen, wir nennen es Live Art und in England wird mit Live Art der Performance Bereich mit eingeschlossen. Im Performance Bereich gibt's oft diese Begegnungsebenen, die uns interessieren. Im Gegensatz zum Theater gibt es sozusagen die Aktion aus dem Moment heraus. Und das ist für uns interessant. Das heißt, auch wenn ich vorher eine Idee habe, in der Performance reagiere ich total auf den Moment und auf die Menschen, wie die, was die mit mir machen. How it went and where we go from here. To find out, log on to 11moments.org. Thank you.